Hello, I'm Matty O'Boyle with RealEar.com, and in this screencast, we're going to do something a little bit unusual for Real Ear. Um, this screencast is going to help people who are, transit, are in transition from perhaps a conservatory-based ear training methodology or even a jazz school methodology. Um, in both those methodologies, they use a lot of interval ear training. So we're going to use the melodic uh, the Melody Ear Training app to set up some interval ear training in case there are folks who want to do that or are transitioning. And then when we finish, we're also going to show people how to move from interval ear training into melodic dictation ear training. So let's get going. The first thing you want to do is think about, okay, what instrument uh, are you playing? So, or singing, if it's your voice. So I'm gonna set this up for violin, and I'm gonna use the open D string on the violin, which is in the fourth octave, right there. And um, next, I'm going to uh, use my ostinato to provide my intervals. Now, there's two ways to think about intervals. One is to, play your, is to hear your intervals as they're played can, um, simultaneously at the same time, and that's what we're gonna do. And then we will also be kind of looking at, at the end, intervals played consecutively, notes that are played consecutively. So here we go. I use my ostinato. I want it um, to, to play my main note, my root note. And now all I need to do is select my intervals that I'm going to work on. So I'm going to use the root note as an interval. So that's a unison. And I'm going to use the fourth and the fifth. Now I'll leave some links to some information on the web about intervals, but um, there's so much information about what a musical interval is. I don't feel like I need to go into it right here. This is more about how to use the apps to practice more efficiently. So now, um, depending on your skill level, you may want to adjust the metronome faster or slower, and you may want to adjust the note duration. I just want to hear two notes in my um, mel melodic phrases, in my interval phrases. So last thing, number of repetitions by default is set at two, which means you hear a phrase, you play it back, you hear the same phrase and play it back. Um, that gives you a chance to consolidate or to correct yourself. But for the screencast, we're going to put it on one so we can hear more examples in the same amount of time. Okay, now I'm set up and I'm ready to roll. All I need to do is hit play and um, sing back or play back what I hear. There are folks that will be coming from a conservative, uh, excuse me, a conservatory environment um, that will probably um, be used to writing down intervals on sheet music. And you can also simply use the app to generate examples of that so you can practice writing down on sheet music too. You can use it for all of them. So now we just hit play and we go. Turning down my volume here. So there you had it, unison and a fifth. You sing it back or play it back. And there is the fifth and the unison. <laughs> One more. Fourth and the fifth. Okay, so you get the idea. You get um, infinite ear training this way. You never know what the app is going to give you because they're always random selections, but based on your choices. And you can practice your intervals that way. Now, as I promised, I also want to then move that into melodic dictation. And this is really easy. All I need to do is take off the ostinato and I'm ready. Now I'm just going to hear musical phrases based on these intervals, the interval from the the unison to the fourth, the unison to the fifth, to the fourth to the fifth, or the fifth to the fourth, you know, any one of those combinations going up or down. So let's do it. You sing back or play back what you hear. That was an easy one. There you go. So that's how I would do it. After practicing my interval trainings, I would put them into a melodic environment. Um, 
And finally, a few other pointers that will help you make the most out of your limited practice time. Sometimes, uh, depending on your skill level, you'll want to change the number, the duration of the notes that you're hearing. Um, you can make much more complicated. Okay, and um, also, you may also want to be changing the metronome to go a little bit faster, a little bit slower, uh, to work on long tones, intonation, or going faster just to work on your, your ability to hear a phrase and play it back instantly. So uh, have a good time with that, you know, and uh, make the most out of your practice sessions. And hopefully this kind of ear training is going to help you go further faster and reach your musical goals.